Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Now I feel better. Nice, I'm glad to yes. hear that. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Uh, right now it's raining. Oh, really? It's not good. Yes. Yes. It, it will be a fresh night. Yes, a fresh night. In my city, it was raining like some minutes ago, but it's not raining anymore. <laughs> no, okay. So. Uh, I think it's Soya Pango. It's raining. Alta Vista, Tanacatepeque, as well as raining. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The weather forecast said that it will be raining like during this weekend. So, well, we never know. <laughs> okay. I hope so. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? How do you feel? Aha. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Good evening. It's Friday. Do you have any plans for the weekend, everyone? Uh huh. Anything? I should give you homework so you can have some plans. No. <laughs> <Homeworks. laughs> I have a doubt. I see the uh, due date and the platform. Uh, it's like September 9th. So... Oh, yes, but you will... It, it is not going to finish that day. It's, it has that date because it's supposedly that tomorrow well tonight it will be our last class but because we didn't start it on monday i mean we cannot finish tonight all right we started this level on wednesday so that's why we are going to finish until uh, the next week um that's why here it says september 9 mm -hmm. but no worries i'm going to talk to the coordinators in order that they can extend and correct the date all right okay i got it no worries uh, hi everybody hello good evening welcome to the class tell me your plans for the weekend besides working on the platform <laughs> what else what else will teacher. you do teacher yes uh i finished the the platform but the media the meeting uh at the end mm -hmm. it's a little small or a little down do you mean the score uh 99 ah yes you got 99 because uh, in the midterm i think that you got 95 percent but in the end, guys, if you have 99, I mean, the system automatically approximately to the next, that is going to be the 100%. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. so don't worry about it. And talking about the platform, I can see a very good progress, actually. Just remember, everybody, that the last day is next Tuesday, okay? I'm talking about September 12th. So by September 12th, the platform has to be done, all right? So if you haven't finished, I recommend you guys to try to work on it during the weekend. I know that on Monday, you will be busy because I mean, you had to work, so try to finish the platform during the weekend, all right? Because if you don't finish the platform, unfortunately, guys, you won't be able to move to the next level, all right? So try to finish it. And as I always said, if you have questions with the platform, with the next specific exercise, you just have to tell me and we can resolve it here in the class, all right? But Finish it, finish the platform. Now, let's start. Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. 
Oh my goodness. Zero pronouns? Zero pronouns or zero article? Zero article. That is the one. Excellent. The zero article. And uh, what else? Mm. Uh -huh. Definite articles. Definite articles. Mm -hmm. And do you remember, guys, in which scenarios I don't need an article? Mm, in general. General, okay. When I have like a general meaning, yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Another scenario, everybody, where I don't need an article. Oh my gosh, so you don't remember, my goodness. So for example, can I say the breakfast, the lunch, the, the dinner, can I say? No. No. No, really. So when we are talking about yes. meals, exactly, yes. we don't need the article da. What else? Another scenario, guys, where we don't years, need it? Years, months. Uh huh. Days, TV, years, years, and months. Also, the. What else? Uh, I remember languages. Languages. Imagine. Languages. We cannot say, yes, I speak the English. Mm, not the really. Spanish. The Spanish. Yes. yes. We don't mm. do that. What else? Another scenario where we don't need it? <clears throat> mm. Can I say, for it's example... Subjects. Ah, can I say next and last? Exactly. So imagine you cannot say, guys, something like the last week, the next week, uh, or when we are talking about subjects like the science, the biology, the math. No, right? When we are talking about those scenarios, we don't need the article the. Okay? Is it clear, everyone? Any questions so far about the zero article? No. No? Okay, pretty good. Keep in mind that, all right, try to practice. This is a topic that is more important to practice and developing while you are speaking, okay? Another when you are writing, it will be easier, but the idea is that you can use it when you are speaking, okay? Now let's start for today's class. Let me start sharing the presentation. Let's see, let's see. Can everybody see the presentation, everyone? Yes, yes, you can. Yes, excellent. So today, everybody, is September 8th, right? We are almost finishing the unit number four. And this is the topic that we are going to study today. Compare characteristics of M-Commerce and National Market. Do you remember what M-Commerce is? Hmm, oh my gosh. What is it, guys? M-Commerce, what is that? Mobile. Ah, very good. When you are using your mobile to complete some shopping, okay, or business transactions. So this is uh, the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading it. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Okay. And class objective. At the end of the class, participant will compare the characteristics of e-commerce will worldwide to its, to its characteristics in the national market. 
Thank you. That is the one. So basically, that is what we are going to do tonight. But before that, let's review a little bit about what we studied yesterday. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about a little bit about some apologies, apologies. about some excuses and promises. Do you remember this? Yes. 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 All right. So imagine, guys, that I want to apologize. Do you remember some phrases that I can use if I want to apologize? When when we get late uh, a meeting. Uh -huh. So imagine that I arrive late to a meeting. What can I say? I'm so sorry. Very good. I'm so sorry. What else? Uh -huh. Don't be again. Don't be. Don't be again. Ah, or... it won't happen again. Uh, it so, won't happen again. If I say it won't happen again, is that an apology or is that a promise? A promise. A promise. Ah, promise. very good. So, what else can we say? Imagine that we made a mistake or if we did something wrong, what can we say? Excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that. Very good. Was my coworker? Uh, <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> it was my coworker's fault. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. So remember, when we are talking about apologies, is when we say "I'm sorry." Then we have excuses. Excuses is when you explain, <laughs> right? When you explain why you did the action so you say i'm sorry uh, for coming late then is the excuse why well because my car didn't work properly so i had to take the bus and then you finish with a promise but it won't happen again okay or I'll never be um, late again. I'll never do it. Okay, it won't happen again. So that is basically the three steps that we are going to practice today. Apologies, excuses, and promises, right? And to start with, let's see some vocabulary. This vocabulary is to express an apology. Remember, everybody, that there are different ways to say it. There is not like a very correct form or only one phrase. No, there are different phrases that you can use. For example, and the most common is using the word sorry. I'm sorry. But if you want to give like more phrases, you can say, I'm terribly sorry, right? And then you use for because you will explain. I'm terribly sorry for being late. Oh, I'm terribly sorry for, I don't know, for staying late at home. Or you can say, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry is the same as I'm very sorry. It's basically the same. Or another phrase, I really sorry. So if you see, we are just changing like the quantifier or the intensifier in this case. There are some other expressions that you can use. For example, please forgive me. Okay, what is the meaning of forgive? Perdonar. Yes, so you can say, please forgive me, right? Or, I'm really ashamed. What is the meaning of ashamed? 
What do you think? I don't know. Shame, um, feel bad, embarrassed. embarrassed. Exactly. When you feel embarrassed about what you did. Okay. Translation. I I am really. Pena. Pena. Yes. Apenado. Apenado. That is the adjective. Or look at this one. You can use the contraction instead of saying I will like. You can say just I like to like apologize. To. Or instead of add, you can use want. I want to apologize. Remember that between both, this one sounds a little bit more formal. Okay? But you can use both. Um, the next one is a pretty nice phrase. I hope you forgive me. So look, we are combining future. That, that phrase sounds pretty good. In a simple way, you can say just, I apologize. Okay. However, if you can use, I like to apologize or I want to apologize, believe me, that sounds much better. And this one, it's pretty nice because you are trying to resolve the issue or compensate to the other person. Imagine that you did something wrong and at the end you say, hey, I want to apologize. So what can I do to make it right? So you are trying to search a solution, okay? So this phrase, it's a pretty good phrase. And again, the promise. I'll try not to do it again. Or it won't happen again. That is like the promise. Got it? Yes? So copy the phrases or take a screenshot if you want, because we are going to use this vocabulary. Today we're going to have role plays, everyone. So. Copy the phrases because the idea is that you can use a different vocabulary, not only the typical, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Teacher, I heard in a movie or um, sometimes in movies that they said, um, I owe you an apology. Yes, that's another one. So they are using the verb O. Yeah, O. Mm-hmm. This is like, te debo, right? Te debo una disculpa. So I owe you an apology. And actually that sounds very formal, that phrase. And it's like out of the typical one that is the sorry, all right? Sorry is like the most common. It is not incorrect, but remember that we can use different ones, right? Did you copy them? Everyone? Yes? No. Okay, copy, copy, no worries. You can use the ones that you prefer, right? The ones that works for you. So remember that after the preposition for, you can include different kind of sentence. For example, I'm terribly sorry for what I did. Okay. Oh, I'm terribly sorry for what I did. I'm terribly sorry for uh, the mistake. Or you can add a verb, but pay attention here. If you are using the preposition for, the verb must be in ing. For example, I'm sorry for arriving late. I'm sorry for forgetting your birthday. Okay, so when you are using the preposition for, then we are going to use the verb 
in ing understood everyone be careful with got that. It. okay did you finish copying it done yes okay everybody can i move to the next one <laughs> yes okay now these are some of the expressions to apologize. But how about when you accept the apologies? Imagine that your, your friend, your coworker say, hey, I'm too sorry. And I'm so sorry. I want to apologize. So if you accept, what can you say? Look at this one. We can say like, ah, there's no need to. It's okay. Or you can say, hey, that's all right. Oh, don't worry. You're forgiven. Or a good one is like, ah, forget about it. No harm done. No harm done is when nobody was hurt. So this phrase, you can use it when the situation, it hasn't been so bad or it wasn't so bad. But imagine if it, it was a very bad situation, it's better not to say this one. Um, also, you can say, that's all right. It doesn't matter, right? The typical, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, or you can say just, it doesn't matter, it's okay. This one is very good. Uh, never mind, okay? Never mind, I quite understand. Or I accept your apology. You have to be careful sure. with the pronunciation, yes? Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, the meaning of quiet. Oh, quiet. Quiet is like to say very. So this one is exactly like if you say, I understand a lot. Like if we translate it to Spanish, literally we'll say like, yo bastante entiendo. <laughs> that is like the literal translation. But how can we say that in Spanish? Exactly. In Spanish, we normally say like, lo entiendo completamente, right? Te comprendo del todo, te comprendo en absoluto, right? So that is basically the translation into Spanish, okay? So I quite understand. Got it? Yes. yes, thank you very much. You're very welcome. So copy these expressions, please, because again, you are going to use it. Remember, these phrases is when you accept the apology. That means that you are not angry anymore, okay? But if you continue angry, mm -mm, <laughs> you cannot say that, okay? Let me know when you finish to copy, please. Wait me, please. Mm -hmm. No problem. Copy the phrases, everybody. Don't teacher. Excellent. Okay, everybody, did you copy them? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent. Okay, we're going to have uh, some practice. But before that practice, as always, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Amanda Leonela Zamora. 
Ana Lorena Lobato. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortés. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Uh, let's see. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Okay. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Elías Neftalí Martínez. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez. Okay. José Salvador Bernal. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Kevin Alexander Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. María José Sigüenza. Oscar, oh, sorry, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Alexis, please write your full name in your profile, please. Great. Yeah, thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Wilfrido Ernesto Gómez. Wilber. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Very good. All right, let's continue, everybody. Now that we already know some of the expressions or the typical phrases that we can use, let's have some role plays. I have here three scenarios and I want you guys to take turns with your classmates. In the first role play, look at this one. The student A, look, imagine that you borrowed and lost your classmates tablet instead of tablet you can if you want change an object it can be a cell phone it can be i don't know maybe some money i'm not sure okay just imagine that you ask your classmate to borrow something and you lost it you need to apologize but look at this one you need to promise right so you can say something like, hey, I need to talk to you. Um, I feel terrible because I lost your tablet. So I really sorry. Uh, I was in the bus and I forgot the tablet. Please forgive me. And then the promise. Uh, I promise you that I will buy you a new tablet, okay? It will be similar like the ones that I lost. That could be a promise. Or you can invent another promise. You know what? I promise you that I will give you the money or, you know, I promise that I will search or I will look for the tablet until I'll find it. I don't know, invent, okay? Student B... <laughs> you decide, okay? You have to decide if the student A should be forgiving or not. So you decide if you accept the apologies or not. If you accept it, you can use the phrases that we checked before. Or if you are not accepting, well, you have to explain. You know what? The tally was pretty important for me, so... Mm -mm. I'm still angry with you. I cannot accept your apologies. All right? So, you decide. In the next role play, I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Student A. Uh-huh. Uh, you didn't arrive for a meeting that you had arranged with the team. 
apologize and make an excuse. Thank you. So this is about job. Imagine that you are at the office, you want to have a meeting with your team, but at the end, I mean, you didn't arrive. You scheduled the meeting and you didn't arrive, imagine. So you have to apologize with the team. But of course, explain why you didn't arrive. So you have to invent. You can say, you know what, guys, I didn't arrive because I was sick. I went to the hospital or, a, I don't know, my family had an issue or my car didn't work. I don't know, invent. Invent excuse that you prefer. Again, the student B, well, you have to decide if you accept the apologies or not, okay? And the last one, the last scenario, volunteer please for reading, student A. What is happening here? Uh huh. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. You forgot to study the homework. Apologies and make an excuse. <laughs> uh huh. Imagine, guys, that you are talking to your teacher. <laughs> you have to understand. <laughs> And you have to explain why you didn't do the homework, okay? Invent an excuse. I want to listen to those interesting excuses. <laughs> yeah, you can say that you were sick. I don't know, invent. And at the end, student B, imagine that you are the teacher, okay? So you have to decide if you accept the apologies or not. And in the last scenario, you can decide if you will give the opportunity to your student to present the homework or if the score will be zero. <laughs> okay? You decide. Remember, everybody, that here it's important to use the vocabulary and the attitude. <laughs> okay? Don't forget that you will switch the role play. So, if you were student A in the first role play, in the second role plays, you will be the student B, okay? Is it clear, everybody, how the role plays will be? Yes? yes Excellent. Okay, I'm going to send the role plays on WhatsApp groups. As always, Say, please, guys, enter to the breakup rooms and participate, okay? This is the moment to speak. I want to everybody try to do the role plays, please. Um, I know that I have some listeners tonight. So please, if you are in a group where everybody is listeners or if your classmates are not talking at all, just let me know and I will switch you to another team. The ones that are listener, guys, if you want to participate or if you will participate, I will need guys to remove the word listener, right? So I will understand that you want to participate. Are you ready, everybody? Yes? Yes. Ready? Yes. Okay, let's enter to the breakup rooms. Zero Spanish, please. Go. Hello. How are you today? <laughs> I'm fine. Today, mm, it was relaxed. Uh, I, I know for I know for 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 what. <laughs> <laughs> Today is it's Friday. It's Friday. Imagine you you don't you don't going to work tomorrow. No. You don't work tomorrow. No. No. Okay. Me too. Me too. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. I I love spend time in my, in my house okay it's it's good yes yes okay uh, I, I remember i saw pamela here yes i don't know <laughs> teacher 
teacher. Yes. Who is Pamela? Remember, I uh, Pamela so... is left. <laughs> I think that it's because of the connection. I mean, I, ah, I don't know, but okay. yeah, maybe she lost the connection. Ah, okay, okay. Well, well let's start okay. the first start scenario. The... Yes, uh, uh, with, with a second, uh, I'm going to check my message in WhatsApp group. Okay. I need to see the properties. Student A, you borrowed and lost your classmate's tablet. Apologize and okay. promise action. Okay. Student B, decide if student A should be forgiven. Uh, uh, what role do you want to practice? Mm, I don't know. Number one, two, or, or three? Only two roles. Two, okay. Uh, let's start. I, you are a student A. Okay, you need to change the object. The object, object. Let me see, you didn't write for me. You borrowed and lost something. Yes, uh, but in, in this case, you, you are a student A. Ah. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> hello, hey. Osman. Hey, hello, Nelson. I need I need to tell you something, but I don't know how. Okay, okay, tell me, Nelson. What is the, uh, what is the problem? I'm really ashamed for, for. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait. Don't worry, don't worry. Remember, uh, uh, I in form, right? In, remember, in this, in this, in this case, the uh, you organized a meeting with with us, but you don't, you didn't get. No, the first scenario. Ah, the first. Ah, yeah. I, 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 I thought in the second. So. I'm trying to solve the issue, and I don't know what what you do you think. If you want me to to repair the crystal, and and try to fix it, or maybe you want a new tablet, I will collect the old money I have, and I promise you, you will get a new tablet that will be so okay. What do you think about it? Oh, come on. Don't worry about it, Oscar. I oh, that's don't such a relief. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so why, that's why you you, you uh, leave your sister drop it, right? Because yeah. you know that I will never, I will uh, don't get mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> but this kind of things get me so frustrated. I hate things that I can control. <laughs> mm -hmm. So thank you. I, I'm I'm giving you a new tablet next week. But it doesn't matter, man. Uh, just uh, give me the tablet. I will uh take it to the uh, store to the ice store. They can replace the crystal. I think it will be for free. So. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's great to hear. I didn't know you were. You had yeah, an issue. Yeah, the protection. <laughs> <laughs> then, thank you, dude. You're great. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, next <laughs> role play. Usman, it's your turn. Good explication of the problem. Excuse me? Good explication that you're problem. You don't understand the problem that the student A on the second role play has. 
Okay. And the second, oh. are you student I, A? You'll be the student A, okay. So maybe Oscar wants to be the student B. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Ahead, um, Osman. Okay, guy. Um, excuse me, uh, I'm not meeting the connection because in this moment uh, I have a problem in my job. Uh, my boss, uh, I had a report um, in this moment and tomorrow in the morning a field house presentation. And for me it's difficult in this moment connecting the, the meeting and no, no contemplate the, the activity in my job. It's very difficult and I'm sorry. Uh, in other in other moment, no no participate in the activity, and this is my case in this moment. I'm sorry, guys. But Hosman, do, do you you already know how this meeting, how important this meeting was? Why you did why you get so late? You're not just wasting my time. You're wasting the the teams the whole team's time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, really <laughs> <laughs> it's very complicated. <laughs> I hope I will I will excuse you. Sure. I will excuse you. <laughs> Oscar, you have to pay him, so don't worry. Don't worry, <laughs> just don't come, just don't come to the just don't go to the uh, to the Hold class on. the next day. <laughs> Hold on, I hope I hope this is the last time you will do that. <laughs> I know you have to pay him that this <laughs> is the last time because he yes. the next day he's not going to be on the class at never more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. You're right, Kevin. Okay. <laughs> Next <Sorry>. role play. <laughs> something uh, positive, you know, something positive about this is that this is virtual. We are not face to face. <laughs> <No position. laughs> because something something can happen. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. This very complication, teacher. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oscar, come on. Will you accept the apologies or yes. not? Yes, but I hope it's, this is the, the last time he, he <laughs> arrives late. Good. So, Thank Osman, you. make a promise. You need to promise that it won't happen again. Tell him. Yeah, thank you, guys. Um, promise the the next uh, meeting I'm pressing in, in, in the meeting, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, Hassan. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for don't, for didn't get a meeting uh, today, uh, but do-, do What you... happened, Hassan? Nelson, do you, don't, do you don't, be, don't believe me, but- uh, uh before before the meeting uh happened some terrible what yes uh, uh um it, it was it, it was raining in my town and then and suddenly uh Caer? Cayo? Uh, fall, no, fall, off, fall off. Falling down? Falling down a thunder. No. Yes, I falling down in thunder next to me. Oh, but you arrange the meeting, Osman. You uh, you could have sent a message. Uh, don't believe me. Uh, also, but I, I don't have a balance in my cell phone. Yes, you too. <laughs> also, also, I don't have a internet because I don't have balance. I, I don't have money to, to buy a internet. 
uh, the, the truth, the truth. I own, uh, I, I, I telling, telling you the truth, and so. Uh, uh. Okay, husband, uh, that's all right, but uh, you are okay? Yeah, yes, thank you. I, I'm okay. Thanks, God. Thanks, God. Okay, forget about it. No problem. <laughs> Thanks, Nelson. I feel better. Thank you. <laughs> okay. It's like in the past. I have forgiven. Uh, yeah, Probably. thank you. Yes, mm -hmm. you're right. Okay, change the scenario. <laughs> the second one or the last one? The second. Uh, okay, now you ate an IB. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's still okay. be funny. Hello, man. Yeah. I'm terribly sorry for being late, but there was a jam in the traffic and I can't arrive to the meeting. I really sorry, man. Please forgive me for that. I know that was an important meeting, but I can't with the traffic. I can't. It's, <laughs> oh, it's too terrible. Okay. I imagine uh, your, I imagine your scenario but you have to you no you have to uh stay here uh lately no yes lately no you have to early early yes early early um but in that moment um you you know that uh, that meeting is it, it was very important for you and for me but in that moment uh, i think about it uh, it was a a good excuse for you because the traffic the traffic was very hard for you and okay and in that moment, in in this moment, I forgive you, but uh, only now. Okay, I promise that I will arrive early the next minute, and also I bring a coffee and a bread for the attendance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That sounds like a very good promise. I mean, you convinced me. You, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a nice uh solution. <laughs> okay, nice. <clears throat> like twenty dollars of the sweet bread or something like that. Uh, no, no problem. It's a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay change the scenario okay um today uh no now i no i letter a you letter b okay and the teacher <laughs> <laughs> okay okay teacher uh I need to tell you that um I forgot send your send the homework um because um uh, in in that moment I was applying with my family and my family uh, specifically my brother uh he was uh, very uh, very um sick so in that moment uh, you have to you have to uh uh you have to you have to uh you have how do you say tenía que llevarlo 
I don't know. Um, I, I had to take him. Uh, I had to take him to the hospital. Um, because um, he he was very very uh sick in that moment, and that's why I forgot uh, uh send you the homework. Please, uh, please, uh, could you forgive, uh, forgive me? Don't believe him, teacher. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe to trust in you, but you know the politics of the college. I need a proof that you were in the hospital with your brother. If you have it, I will open the platform to you to send the homework. But you know the policies. I need to. I'm sorry, it's not the policy, it could be the rules. You, you uh, know the rules of the okay. uh, I really need to apologize and promise action. Um, who will be the student B? Who Osman. has to apologize? <laughs> yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay, it will be, it will be a Nelson. So, I'm, oh, hey, Nelson, do you remember you borrowed me the tablet um, yesterday? Because I had to write or to draw some things for our homework. Yes, I can remember. So I have bad news, really bad news for you. What happened? <laughs> I'm really sorry, man. But but uh, I was using the tablet on the bathroom, and uh, when I uh stand up come on Kevin. drops and and gets um uh, wet with it with the toilet uh water so <laughs> it's, it, it okay. doesn't uh, uh, powers it doesn't power on again so i'm sorry um i will i take the tablet to a repair shop but they why did you do that um, why um, why you you carry the tablet uh, when you go when you went to the bathroom come on because i was i was watching netflix and the the series was so <laughs> so uh catchy i i can stop seeing those episodes so i i was at, at any place at my house uh, watching that that series so i'm sorry but uh, i will give you a new one i will uh, uh check on the internet uh, how much is for uh the same model that you uh, borrow borrow me the same model of the tablet so uh give me like one month and i will give you an, a new one you knew that my tablet uh, is a special. Why? Why it's why it's a special? Because uh, it's a the tablet was a gift for my mom. Uh, my gift for my. All right, time's up, everybody. Let's go back to the main room. We are going to wait for everybody. Time's up, time's up. All right, all right, everybody, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. All right, let's go back. All right, interesting role plays. How do you feel the role plays, everyone? Was it easy or difficult? Yeah, 
What do you difficult. think? Difficult. It's a little difficult. Difficult to forgive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the most difficult part? Um, to say the apologies or to accept the apology. I mean, I'm talking about the vocabulary. Oh. <laughs> vocabulary, <laughs> not the feelings. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. So, what do you think, guys? What was more uh, more difficult? It's hard to apologize. Ah, why? Why do you think that is difficult? For the the react or the sense that the <laughs> other person the face yeah. when you <laughs> say something and the other yeah. person the, the face is what happened why <laughs> and i was listening guys very um there were some people like little angry oh my goodness but at the end everybody accepted the um the apologies didn't you yeah or not? Yes, always. Yes. Only God yes. will forgive you. I hope. That's what, what we said. Only God can forgive you. Okay, <laughs> my gosh, my goodness. All right, pretty good role play. I like it. I like the way that you were trying to use the expression. That's great. So remember, guys, when we are giving this kind of... Um, apologies remember we need to give the apologies i'm so sorry let's say the excuse that explain the reason why it happened so remember that when we are talking about excuse here in english can be true or not right so you just have to explain why and remember the promise Okay, you need to explain that that action, mm -mm, it won't happen again. Got it? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Got it. Excellent. Now, let's have another practice. And this time, it's about listening. I'm going to share with you four conversations. And you have to listen and Try to understand why they complain. Try to understand what's the excuse. So, will be a person explaining a problem and the other person will explain why happened, all right? So, you are going to try to listen the phrases that this person used to apologize try to identify the excuse that they give and also try to identify the promise, okay? These aspects is the ones that I wanted to understand in this audio. So my recommendation is try to write the key words. Are you ready, everybody? Yes? Yes. yes. Pretty good. To avoid interferences, you know that microphones off, everybody. And pay a lot of attention. Here we go. Dialogue one. I'm afraid we have a problem with your latest delivery. It arrived three days late again. I'm very sorry about that. I'm afraid our driver was delayed at the border. Well, this is about the 10th time that this has happened this year, and we are not satisfied. If this problem is not resolved, I'm afraid we will have to consider changing suppliers. I understand. Leave it with me. I will look into the matter and do what I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Thank you. I really hope we can sort this out. Dialogue 2 Hello, Jane. I'm calling because we have a problem with our order. Oh! What seems to be the problem? Didn't you receive all the goods you ordered? Well, we received everything, but some of the goods are damaged. I'm sorry to hear that. In what way are they damaged? Well, the casing on some of the television sets seems to be cracked. Oh, I am very sorry. This has never happened before. It must be due to bad handling. If you send us back the damaged sets, we'll send you replacements immediately and give you a discount on your next order. 
Thanks a lot. I apologize again for any inconvenience caused. If you have any more problems, please let me know. Dialogue 3 Hello, John. I'm calling about a mistake on our invoice. It looks like you have overcharged us by $50. I'm sorry about this. Our accounts department must have made a small mistake when they processed your order. We'll issue a corrected invoice immediately. I'll tell you what. Could you just subtract the extra amount from the next invoice? Certainly. I apologize again for the mistake. It's all right. Have a nice day. Dialogue 4 Can I have a word with the manager, please? Yes, that's me. How can I help you? Well, I just want to complain about the lack of customer service here. I just can't find anyone to help me choose a laptop. Yes, I'm very sorry, ma'am. We are rather short-staffed at the moment. Please wait here and I'll find someone to help you. Okay, could you listen to the four audios, everyone? Yes. Do you have the answer? Mm, not <laughs> for all. Or do you need to listen? It's one more time. Yes, mm, like one, one more time. time. Or two all or right. three or four times. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Time. Remember, I need the aspects. Try to understand why people is complaining. Yeah. Try to listen the phrases that they use to apologize, try to identify the excuse, and try to listen to the promise, okay? I'm going to play the audio again, please. Microphones off, everyone. Pay attention, here we go. Dialogue one. I'm afraid we have a problem with your latest delivery. It arrived three days late again. I'm very sorry about that. I'm afraid our driver was delayed at the border. Well, this is about the tenth time that this has happened this year, and we are not satisfied. If this problem is not resolved, I'm afraid we will have to consider changing suppliers. I understand. Leave it with me. I will look into the matter and do what I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Thank you. I really hope we can sort this out. Dialogue 2. Hello, Jane. I'm calling because we have a problem with our order. Oh, what seems to be the problem? Didn't you receive all the goods you ordered? Well, we received everything, but some of the goods are damaged. I'm sorry to hear that. In what way are they damaged? Well, the casing on some of the television sets seems to be cracked. Oh, I am very sorry. This has never happened before. It must be due to bad handling. If you send us back the damaged sets, we'll send you replacements immediately and give you a discount on your next order. Thanks a lot. I apologize again for any inconvenience caused. If you have any more problems, please let me know. Dialogue 3 Hello, John. I'm calling about a mistake on our invoice. It looks like you have overcharged us by $50. I'm sorry about this. Our accounts department must have made a small mistake when they processed your order. We'll issue a corrected invoice immediately. I'll tell you what. Could you just subtract the extra amount from the next invoice? Certainly. I apologize again for the mistake. It's all right. Have a nice day. Dialogue 4 can I have a word with the manager, please? Yes, that's me. How can I help you? Well, I just want to complain about the lack of customer service here. I just can't find anyone to help me choose a laptop. Yes, I'm very sorry, ma'am. We are rather short-staffed at the moment. Please wait here and I'll find someone to help you. Okay, everybody, do you have the answers? Hmm. No okay. yet. No yet. And the rest of you guys? A little bit? Some of it? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, let's try to find out the answers together. Dialogue one. Let's start with the complaint. What is the reason that they are complaining? 
the delivery service. The delivery mm -hmm. arrived three days late. Days later. Exactly. So it arrived three days late. And look at this one. They say that this happened again. So it's something that it has been happening a lot of time. So which expression did the person use to apologize? I'm very sorry. Very good. I'm very sorry. And what is the excuse? Why did the package arrive late? The traffic. The traffic? The driver. Right. Okay. The or okay. The driver. Because of the driver? Are you sure? Well, Basically, right? They say that it was a delay at the border, so we can consider that it because of the traffic. And what is the promise? Uh, uh, he will make sure that this problem doesn't happen again. Very good. Yes. It doesn't happen again. Pretty good job. Now let's go back to the uh, let's go to the dialogue two. What is the complaint about? Mm -hmm. damage. Good damage. He received the order with damage. Ah, very good. So they ordered a product, but some of the goods are damaged. So what is the phrase that this person used to apologize? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. What else? Any other phrase that this person used? It was about handling. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in this case, they use the phrase, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. So what is the excuse? Uh huh. Why the goods are damaged? Because the uh, handling, um, I don't remember. Bad handling. Yes. So they said, right, I'm sorry to hear that. It must be too or due to bad handling. And what is the promise? He's sending our place and give a discount in the next purchase. Very good. Exactly. That is a very good promise. All right. In the dialogue three, what is the complaint about? Another charge. Um, a mistake with the uh, invoice. All right. Extra charge. Extra charge. That's the one. And what is the phrase to apologize? He said, I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry or I'm sorry about this. And what mm -hmm. is the um, what is the excuse? Uh-huh. Anyone? Okay, the excuse they said, right, that it was a fault for the accounts department. They must had made a small mistake. And what is the promise? Do you listen to the promise? He sent the correct invoice. Mm, close. They will subtract, okay, the extra charge. So they will resolve it. Next one, dialogue four. What is the complaint in the dialogue four? A lack of customer service. Yes, angry. Very good. Yeah. good. Exactly. And what is the uh, apology? What is the phrase to apologize uh, here? Uh -huh. They were sorry because they had short stuff. Very good. So that is the excuse, right? They say, I'm very sorry. And the excuse, 
We are short staffed. Okay. Now, what is the promise? We will find someone to help her. That's the one. So he said, right, I'm going to try to find someone to help you. Excellent job. Pretty good. So if you see, this is the way that we can have a conversation using apologize, excuses, and promises. All right. Now, if we have here these phrases, everybody, which of these phrases do you think that represents making a complaint? Which of these phrases can be a complaint? Number one, I'm just not satisfied. Very, very good. So the number one sounds like a complaint, right? You know what? I'm not satisfied with this customer service. How about the next one? Which of these phrases can be apologize and explaining? Number two. Thank number you. two sorry about that about that it's probably a computer error exactly very good then how about getting more information imagine that you are in the middle of the conversation but you need to you need more information what do you think can you be a little more specific very good another one what is the, the nature, nature, yeah, the nature of, of the, the problem? problem. The problem. Yes. So what about the number three? In which category do I need to set the number three? And getting more, getting information. more information. Good. And the last one, promising action. What do you think? I'll take care of it right away. That's the one. Excellent. So when you are promising something, remember, guys, follow the steps. You can listen to the complaint. Yes. Then apologize, of course. Don't forget that. And in order that your apologize can be very convincing, don't forget to explain why you did it and give a promise. Okay, so we are going to follow those steps and we are going to have one more practice. Um, but we are going to do this role plays here in the main room because I have like a lot of listeners. So we are going to do it here. The idea, guys, for this, uh, this role plays, we have here three situations, so three different role plays. You have to follow the conversation you need to complain the other person has to apologize explain why you did it and don't forget to promise an action so you have to invent okay invent what you will promise so we have the first scenario i need a volunteer please for reading the first scenario Uh huh. Only one, please. Can you read it? Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. You book it. Book it. Book. Book. You book a flight with your regular airline. Your flight was delayed by five hours, and you missed an important important business meeting. Call the call the airline company to complain very good so imagine guys look at this scenario imagine that you have a very important business meeting in new york okay so you bought a flight ticket and your meeting was i mean totally important it was a business meeting but what happens to your flight mm-hmm what happens to your the flight? The flight was delayed. Yes. By five hours. Five hours. Imagine, guys. So what happens to your important business meeting? You lost it. 
Okay, you couldn't be in your meeting. So what do you need to do? In this moment, you call to your airline company and you have to complain, okay? Explain that because of the delay, you lost your meeting and the agent is going to apologize, is going to explain why the airplane was delayed and you have to promise an action. Is it clear, the role play? Yes? Everybody, ¿se entiende el role play? Yes. Yes? A little bit or not? Okay, I need two volunteers. Who wants to try? Mm, if I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick randomly. Okay, let's see. Let me pick randomly. But first, let me send on WhatsApp group. I'm sending the scenarios. The idea, guys, is to use the vocabulary. So I'm going to choose, look at this one. Um, it's going to be randomly. I have your names over here. So the first person that I picked is going to be the customer, okay? Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes? Yes. Okay, the customer will be... Well, Amanda is not here, right? Sifrido. Hello, Sifrido. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Excellent. Okay, Sifrido, you are the customer. You are the ones that is going to complain, okay? And the customer service agent is Oscar Alexis. Okay, Oscar, remember, you yeah. have to apologize. You have to explain why the airplane arrived late. And at the end, don't forget to make a promise. Promise something to the customer, okay? Are you ready, boys? Pretty good. Go ahead. So. Ring. <laughs> Hello. I have a big issue with my flight. It's delayed about five hours without a notice. Could you please help me? Oh, yeah. Um, in this case, we were having a big issue with and um, with our with our flights, uh, is there a uh, bad weather, and we having a lot of a lot of flights delayed because of that. Okay, but I really have a problem. I need to arrive to New York soon. What options do you have? Um, in order to get you satisfied with our company uh, we're we're about to to give in an a new flight the next time you you buy a new a new flight and i hope that could be oh, sorry 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 man for you i mean i need to arrive to new york today not in the next flight it's today. What options do you have? <laughs> yes, we're 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 trying to handle this situation. Um the flights will be arrived to your to your airport in around thirty minutes. And I hope you will get the 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 flight in that moment. You promise that? Yes. Or are you lying <laughs> me as the last customer service agent? <laughs> if the flight is not around that time, you can call us again and we'll try to solve it in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time's up. So, Sifrido, will you accept the apologies? 
Not really, but I don't have <laughs> I an option. I didn't even apologize. <laughs> have an option. You didn't have like many options. Very good. Okay, something great. Very good, Oscar, because I mean, he was following the steps, right? Apologize, explain the reason why the delay, and make a promise. Excellent. Of course, in the real scenario, guys, will you accept that? I think that Cifrido was very polite, <laughs> like actually. Yeah. In the real life, maybe we are not going to react in that way. So hmm, difficult scenario. Now let's move on to the scenario number two. Cifrido, pick someone, please. And Alexis, pick someone, please. And let me see for Alexis. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh -huh. I'm sorry? Eulise. Eulise. Okay, Eulise, you are the customer. Uh, Alexis? Uh, maybe Osman. Osman. Okay, Osman, you are the agent. So what's happening in the second scenario? Look at this one, guys. Imagine that you are in an office supply store. Okay, so in this case, Eulise, imagine that you are looking for some furniture, okay? So you want to buy something. Imagine, Eulise, that you have a lot of money and you want to spend the money. But <laughs> imagine that you have some questions about the items, but nobody is there to help you, okay? So go and talk to the manager. In this case, Osman, you are the manager. So please ask for an apologies, make an excuse, and don't forget to promise, okay? Is it clear? Action. I don't, I don't have a lot uh vocabulary, but I will try. You can, you can change the object. Imagine that instead of furniture, imagine that you are looking for a cell phone or for a computer, or choose any kind of object, the ones that you prefer. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. I, I want to uh, to see again the... Uh, the I already, yes, I send it on WhatsApp's group if you want. Or, oh, okay. Yeah, or if you want, I can share the screen. The one... Yes, yes, you are in the office. Okay, you ready, boys? Remember, Osman, apologize, okay, teacher. explain, and promise. Okay, okay, teacher, design, I'm going to try. <laughs> That's the attitude. No worries, it's just a practice. So, Eulise, you start. Go ahead. If I can, you help me, please. I will, I will. Okay. Okay. Um... Um okay uh teacher um the situation is this moment or yesterday no in this moment right now in this moment you right are now. in the store right now nobody is helping you so right now osman was walking <laughs> so you say hey i need to talk to you All right okay okay yes okay action okay mm, and I I'm looking for a, a a smart cell phone and so and there are so there are a lot of cell phones but uh, nobody helped me uh, about uh, to explain me the function about the cell phone and uh, okay I looking I I see the cell phone and I like it, but I need to uh, someone to explain me. In that moment, uh, um, I see the Osman. Hey, Osman, uh, could you help me, please? Because I need I looking for for uh, excellent cell phone, and nobody. Uh, 
helps me. The battery helps me to explain the function about the cell phone. Uh, could you help me for that? Because nobody helped me. And um, uh, you are the man the manager, and nobody helped me about the the that situation. What happened with that? Okay. Uh, hello, Ulises. Um, uh, the first uh, welcome welcome our store. Uh, Thank you. The the true um. Uh, I'm I'm so sorry for this situation, uh, but uh, only as only I say the employee employee uh, that work here is some sick, but I hope you understand that. But uh, the there is there is no problem because I I am here uh, for help you. Um, let, let me show this. This uh, cell phone, I think uh, uh, you you like it, yes. Uh, did, you can see this this uh, model, yes. Um, I can I can say you is the the last model. Uh, if you turn off, you you can you can uh, open the camera, and you can you can All see. Right. Let's do something. You, Let's end up there. Very good. Look at this one. Osman, take the real, the real role play, right? He was explaining. I tried, teach. I tried. I tried. No, but you did it great. If you, if you on put on the camera, you can you can see the object uh two 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 hundred meter, meters. Two, two meter, meter, meters. The distance. Yes. <laughs> it's the last, it's the last. Uh, we we ha we have mm. also okay also hold on we... hold on hey, Ulisse, do you accept his apologies um and now i hear you uh, about the about the function of the cell phone and um i think uh i think if you convinced about the cell phone uh, i think about it <laughs> nice okay let's just because of the time but let's just stop there but guys very good role plays if you see that's what we need to do apologize so osman did it explain why it happened so you did it and then ask a promise promise something in this case right or the promise that Osman did is I will help you and he started to help very good job is it easy guys to apologize what do you think more or less teacher <laughs> more or less but, if, if, but uh -huh. if, if, if we if practice uh, we, we we learn we, absolutely we yes how about guys um excuse make an excuse is it easy to? Yes or no? It's, an, it's not easy sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So we need to practice. Remember that this can happen, especially in your job, right? So if suddenly, guys, you made a mistake, you need to try to apologize, explain the reason why, and don't forget to promise a solution promise something that you will do in order to fix the issue okay now let's just stop thinking about those um, scenarios now relax everybody we need to continue talking we are going to change the subject right now and as at the beginning of the class i mentioned we are going to continue talking about this m commerce do you remember that yes No? Yes. Okay. So we are going to relate this topic. And before that, I have some questions for you. Question number one, look at this, guys. How important is it for a business to have an app that allows online purchases? What do you think? 
it's very important. Why? Mm, because if they only have um, brick and mortar uh, stores, they will lost the chance to get a lot of customers from everywhere. Mm, sounds good. So for example, think about here in El Salvador, think about some brick and mortar stores. Can you give me examples of brick and mortar stores? Yes. Uh, okay. Do they have an app or an online website that share with the people in order that they can buy online? Yeah, they have one and I usually use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look at this one. So it is, it's pretty important. They can get more customers, they can earn more money. How about the question number two? Volunteer for reading, please. Are on the future of online commerce? Thank you. So remember that when we are talking about e-commerce, we are talking about cell phones, all right? And all the things that we can do through the cell phones. So what do you think? Are they the future of online commerce? Yes or no? Yes, yes because everyone has one in their in their pocket. <laughs> okay. How about you guys? What do you think? Not future in this moment. Yeah, it is just the 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 piece, the buying the app uh, the app app the apps that it's, a, it's already uh -huh. yeah, it's already I mean, happening. In the yes, future, uh, intelligent artificial no no have a a different for the the buy. Mm, that's true. So, excellent. Imagine, guys. Actually, it is already happening, right? I think that smartphones are already here doing a lot of job. Now look at this one. Are online stores popular in your country? Well, in, in our country. Yes. How much popular? Um, think about this. Which ones are more popular here in El Salvador? Brick and mortar or online stores? Mm, brick and mortar, maybe. Brick and mortar, okay. What do you think, everybody? Which ones are more popular? Okay, I want to everybody try to participate, please. Okay, so I know this Friday, but come on, let's participate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so how about this one? Volunteer for reading, question number four. Me teacher. Yes, go ahead. Do you think e-commerce will substitute retail store in the future? Mm, interesting question. What do you think, everybody? Yes. Are you sure? Totally? I mean... No. <laughs> so? I, I think it's sure no 100%. Uh, but uh, for the moment, uh, I, I, I can see many people prefer, uh, don't prefer a physical store uh, because they can have a real business uh, in his house in their house, yes, and, and the sales can be more and mm -hmm. the cost be, uh, below. That's true, that's true. So, well, we never know what will happen in the future, right? But after the pandemic, if you see guys, that was a clear example that the e-commerce can it be- they grew a lot so <laughs> we realized that definitely e-commerce can substitute the re uh, retail stores now the question is if they can substitute the 100 percent of the retail stores teacher mm -hmm. uh, I, I have a comment Go ahead. Uh, i have uh, a lot of friends uh, that sells uh, food online uh -huh. uh, I, I can see in the for example in the facebook mm -hmm. uh, i can see the the food page about that and and when i want to get uh, this restaurant don't 
don't exist. <laughs> don't oh, exist. they don't have a, a place. They don't have place. Uh, oh. Only a, a, a service online. Uh, That's interesting. Because they work in their house. Mm -hmm. yes. That's another thing. Imagine if you want to open a restaurant, guys, a physical, right? Is it expensive or is it very cheap? Yes, what do you think? it's exp expensive, teacher. It is but very expensive. expensive. But if uh, you want to prepare the food in your house and sell it uh, online, it will be cheaper or more expensive? It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Yes. So that's why in some scenarios, e-commerce, yes, definitely. It's not going to will. It's already substituting yes. the retail stores. Yes. And what do you think, guys? Is something positive or negative that the e-commerce um, substituted the retail stores? In your opinion, is that something positive or negative? Maybe for the uh, customer, it's positive because uh, they can find uh, more product and maybe cheaper. Mm -hmm. But for the uh, local store, uh, is bad because uh, less uh, sales for a day. Oh, very good point. Definitely. So, the last question. How do you think, guys, retail stores will be in the future? I mean, will they disappear? Or if they are still here, how will they be? What do you think? We are talking will, about brick and mortar. Uh huh. They will be like the Amazon uh, shop in uh, the United States. <laughs> you think? That you, yes, you, uh, you get your card and pick the things that you want and you go with your things out of the place and they already uh you already paid for for them in the application mm. without doing anything they are they are doing automatically automatically when you leave the place could be could be that's a good idea how about you guys what do you think Maybe in general, uh, they need change uh, their strategies of sales mm -hmm. um, according to uh, 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 actuality and maybe uh, find a technique for sales online, maybe. Okay. If it's uh, the situation, the actual situation. Uh, yeah. Imagine if they want to survive, if they want to continue working, they need to invent something, right? Interesting. And that is basically what we are going to be discussing right now. We are going to check both aspects, and commerce and the retail stores, okay? So let's see some vocabulary, everybody. And here we got a conversation. Uh, let's see, let's see. This conversation is between Elsa, who wants to purchase a book online. But what's happening? She has some issues with the website. Okay. So then his partner is going to suggest something. I need to volunteer. Who wants to read? I want to be Alex. Okay. Because good. I am Alex. <laughs> All right. I need someone else. Another volunteer for reading? I will be Elsa. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Remember, <clears throat> this conversation is in your manual. So let me open up the manual. It's a little bit bigger. So you can read it better. Let's see. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's start. Go ahead. Alex, I'm trying to purchase a book from the App Store, but I'm not sure I'm getting this right. Let me see. Well, it seems the credit card number is already typed in, but you need to add your home address to your account or you won't be able to complete the purchase. Do I have to do it twice? 
I remember entering my home address before. This is so complicated. Forget about it. I better go to the bookshop and get a physical copy. That's good, I guess. It looks like the software developers make checkout too complicated for the end users. I will leave some feedback on in their website. Thank you. So what is happening here, guys? Are they using brick and mortar stores or they are using the um, e-commerce? Mm, an e-commerce, maybe. Mm. E-commerce? Yes. Yes, definitely. If you see, they are trying to buy online. So that is what Elsa is trying to do. Then mm, what seems to be the problem with the purchase? Uh, that you have to write the address many times, mm -hmm. multiple times. So do you think that the website is very easy to use? No, not it's really. not. It's kind of not complicated. Really. So yes. what is Elsa going to do, guys? Going to the brick and mortar place. Yes. So imagine. To the bookstore in this case. <laughs> yes. That is very um negative aspects. Have you ever entered, guys, or have you ever tried to buy something online and the website was very unfriendly and difficult to use what do you think yes my yes. college bookstore <laughs> okay <laughs> and you guys what yes, was for me too mm -hmm. i remember i was trying to, to buy something for my pc but in the online shop was saying that it was a um, how do you say disponible Available. Uh, mm -hmm. Available, but <clears throat> it, they they don't they don't have that item uh, actually in physical stores, you know. So I have to contact Super to check that, and they told me, ah, no, there is no inventory. So <laughs> my that's <God>. an error. <laughs> <laughs> May I ask, is not a, a ¿cómo se llama este? <laughs> it's not um. um that that place on the Plaza Merliot? <laughs> mm, no, no, no. Because with with they, it happens the same to me. No, it was <laughs> okay. the same problem. Someone the, the website says that the product sale. is available, and when I bought it, they send me a mail to say, or ah oh, no, I remember they called me and told me that. Uh, the product was out of stock, so... So they lied to you. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. So, but imagine in this scenario that the website was a little bit complicated. What do you think, guys? What does this e-shop or this website need to do? Or what can they improve in order that this place can be friendlier? Maybe save the common user data. Okay. Like the address, because if they will use it all the time, they have to store it. Mm, what do you think, guys? Do you agree with that? Is that a good idea to already save the information of the customer? Yes. Yeah. But all of the personal information or, or just some of them? Use some of them. Like ah, the address. Very good. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, according to this conversation now, let's see some vocabulary. Some of these words, you already know them. And yes. remember, if we see the letter E at the beginning, what is that? Mm, electronic. Mm -hmm. Exactly. For example, let's go back to the conversation. If you see here, it says e shop. So what is that? A website, maybe. Yes, we are talking about electronic shops, the ones that are online. If I say e-commerce, remember the ones that we studied, e-business, um, e-learning, everything is related to online space okay so
So the idea, guys, I wanted to match the words with these descriptions, okay? I will give you three minutes. Match it, please. And then we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. Go ahead, answer in your notebooks. And then I will be asking individually. Go ahead. Read carefully. Try to identify the keywords. Read carefully, everyone. I will be asking individually, so please, everybody, do it. One more minute. You ready, everybody? Or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. OK, no worries. I will give you more time. Let me know when you're ready. Uh huh. Ready? So let's try. Let's try to resolve it together. Okay. Well, Nelson, let's start with you. The number one, brick and mortar. We already know the meaning for this one. What do you think? What is the definition? Uh, let me see. Business that completes most of their business activities at a physical location. Hmm. What do you think, everybody? Do you agree? I agree. Are you sure? Yes. With my life. <laughs> With your <laughs> life. Okay. Let's see if it is true. Yes, that is the one. Nelson, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay. Uh, Hosman. Okay, Hosman, number two. 
Now, look at this one. We have brick and mortar, and then we have clicks and mortar. So, Josman, what do you think? What is the definition for that one? Um, for me, the use of both the internet and building to conduct business. Mm, all right. Everybody, do you agree with him or do you have another idea? I agree. agree. I agree. That is the one. So keep in mind the vocabulary. Brick and mortar, the activity is full at a physical location. Now we have another one. Clicks and mortar is a combination. Okay? Physical and online. Can you give me examples for clicks and mortar stores here in El Salvador? Simon. Simon. What else? Bibri. Very good. Any other one? Curacao. Yes, pretty good. Next one, Josman, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, uh, Amanda. Um, is she there? I, can, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you participate? Yeah. Okay. Very I, good. I try. I try. <laughs> All right. Because I'm coming now. <laughs> yeah. No worries. So we have e workforce. What do you think? What is that? Uh. Mm hmm. People hired to work with computers while doing while doing business. Hmm. Okay. Everybody, what do you think? Do you agree? I agree. I agree. Yes, I agree. Totally. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Amanda, pick one of your classmates, please. Um. Um. Sorry if you participate, and I was not not listening. Um. Is it Frida? Sifrido, thank you. Number four, e-tailing. What is that? Is this dealing of retail goods on the internet? Hmm, okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes, I agree. I agree. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> With your life? Yeah, totally. of course. <laughs> nice. Sifrido, can you pick one of your classmates, please? And Ricardo? Hmm. Right, Ricardo, e-wallet. I think it is software that stores personal and credit card information for one click reuse. Hmm, everybody? Yes, I agree. Yes. Yes, I agree. Ah, very good. And the last one, multi-channel shopping. Volunteer for reading? Offering customers a variety of platforms from which they are able to purchase products. Very good. Excellent. So this vocabulary, it is important. So I want you guys to keep it in mind because we are going to use it for our next speaking activity. Now, we have another section for vocabulary. Look at this one. Again, I have some expressions related to the end commerce right here, and I have the descriptions. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to try to resolve it. Again, I will give you three minutes. Go ahead. Try to find the keywords. Remember, keep in mind the vocabulary. We are going to use it in the next in the next speaking activity.
Breathe carefully. Try to identify the keywords. You ready or not yet? Well, we are going to try to resolve it together because of the time. So I need a volunteer. Number one, social media platforms. What is the correct description for that one? Volunteer, please. Me. Yes, go ahead. Um, they enable enable the develop deployed deployment the mm -hmm. management uh, official media solution and uh, services thank you everybody is that true do you agree yes with your life yeah. <laughs> yes okay yes. let's see definitely Eulise, be one of your classmates please Let me see. Uh -huh. Osman Enrique. All right, Osman, mobile banking. What is that? Hi, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, teacher. I get. I couldn't do. I couldn't do. All right, no worries. Your classmate will help you. So everybody, number two, what do you think? Maybe it's referred to the use of a smartphone to perform online banking tasks. Hmm. Everybody, do you agree with her? Totally. I agree. It's okay. Yes. Remember, mobile banking, what we were talking about before when we are talking about everything related with the M-commerce, we are just doing everything online through a smartphone. Now, number three, who has the answer of the number three? Digital Any purchase. means of payment that exists purely in electronic form, maybe? Okay. What do you think, guys? Mm, not exactly. Purchase for digital goods for digital, completed for digital. directly from within an e-shop. Mm, so we have two options. There is the a few. The second option. Purchase for digital goods. Yes, purchase digital. for digital. Yeah, purchase. that is the one. Exactly. Then number four, digital currencies. Who has the answer for that one? Any means of payment that exists. Probably in the electronic form. Electronic form, everybody. Electronic form. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? I agree. With my life. Yes. <laughs> I agree. With your life, some people say, nice. So look, there is a difference, everybody, between digital purchase and digital currency. So be careful with that. Number five, mobile ticket, uh, ticketing. Mm, the, the process whereby customers can obtain tickets using mobile phones. 
<laughs> That's pretty obvious, right? The answer was inside the, uh, the sentence. Okay, um, number six, who has the answer? Portability. The degree, degree to, which... to which, continue. To which, uh-huh. To which an NT can be successfully moved from one to another. Domain, Domain to another. To another. Very good. And the last one, what is the meaning of ubiquity? The characteristic of a service that is available to use about everywhere all, at all the time. Nice, pretty good job, excellent. So, unfortunately, we don't have more time, but tomorrow, well, not tomorrow. Next Monday. Monday, we are going to continue practicing this topic. And we are going to use that vocabulary, so please keep it in mind. Unfortunately, right now, we don't have more time. So remember your homework. What is your homework? Practice. Rest. <laughs> rest. I mean, yes, try to rest, but practice, please. Practice vocabulary and, of course, the platform, OK? So guys, if you have questions with the platform, take a screenshot and send it, and I will try to help you with that. Remember, next week is the last one. Basically, we have two more classes, Monday and Tuesday. So by Tuesday, the platform has to be done. Understood? Yes. Yes, yes you sure. Pretty good. Okay, everybody, no winners for tonight. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.